So that is where I am so far with this painting. The trees have finished, the water here is pretty much finished. What I'm going to start working on is this area here, well in particular actually, this area of waterfall. Now it's quite a nice scene, a lovely variation of colours, you've got that lovely sharp greens that I love there, but one of the things I really like is the moss that you can see on the rocks. So we're going to continue that into this part here. I'm rambling, but basically we're going to get this picture worked on. And this video is going to be mainly about starting on that water there. Now, as I said previously, this is a, a painting. It's going to be a full lesson on MJS TV, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, uh, there's a link in the description below. Um, well, let's get started in the video. Right, so I'm going to leave this rock here for the moment, and I'm going to start to add the darker elements into this part here as we move along to the right. So we can do that with another glaze and I'm going to rather than being a spot that I'm doing like we did here I'm going to do more of a little a small brush stroke Now what we can start doing is adding the blue again, to the sky reflection on the water here. So now what we're doing is just adding just the little areas of this mid blue where we can see them in the photograph. They're not everywhere, so be careful that you don't put it over every little, every area, every single area, sorry. And I I think what we're doing really is having more sort of small wiggly lines. So before we move into this part here, I'm just now going to add the lighter colours. In fact, it might not be quite light enough, but let's just continue with it and then we can decide. So with this area of water, there's actually only one real technique that I'm using. Um, we're trying to get the water 
uh, to have as much movement or, or to look as if it has as much movement in it as possible. And actually the, the details are very small and very fine. And the only sort of real brush or the real brushes that can give us the look that we're looking for is the uh, Series 1 and the Series 2s. Um, and we're looking just to use the finest point of the brush, but this whole area of waterfall is pretty much just one technique. And I'm gonna use this technique now and zip through and show you as it really starts to come to life.